I've been getting comments asking how I make this smooth text animation in the cup card. So in this video, I will show you exactly how to do it. All right, guys, let's get started. So I have this video. I'm going to use this very video, drag and drop it in the timeline. So you can do it with your caption or your text directly. With this, I just want to create a caption. So let me trim this side off. Then I can go straight to text, go to captions. Remember, you can do it on the text when you go to add and then you can bring in the text. So let's go to captions and let's generate the captions from this very video. And with this, I'm just going to show you guys without the video showing at the background, but you can keep the video if you want to. So let me just just select the video and then take opacity all the way down now with the text selected make sure you have apply to all when you're using the captions but if you're using the text directly then you're not going to have something like this but this i can change the font style to my favorite font style popping select that then i can drag it to the middle so from here you can add depending if i have the video then i can add some drop shadow to it and i can take it all the way down so it's going to look nice when it's on the video so with CapCut, they have a caption preset I'm going to show you, but it's not going to be smooth as you're doing it manually. So with this selected, when you go to animations, and this is only going to work if you were able to transcribe into captions and then you're going to have access to it. But if it's a direct text, you will not have access to the caption animation. So with that, you can go to captions. It's going to be somewhere down here, but I have it on favorite. So I can go there and it's going to be slide up. Let me show you guys. In everything you're doing, in everything you're doing, you can see how it comes in i don't like it at all so i'm gonna take it off and show you guys the manual way so with the manual way select that we can go to animation you can use in animation for the slide up also with that one i'm still not really happy with how it comes in i want to have the control over it so we're going to do everything manually go to text and go to transform then drop another one on blend it's gonna be opacity make sure it's on the first frame sorry guys so i'm gonna take it to the first frame then i can go somewhere 20 frames ahead or 25 the sweet spot is around 20 to 30 frames so it's gonna come in really smooth then on that side i can drop second keyframe on transform and also on blend now i'm gonna take my player to the first keyframe i'm gonna take the y axis a bit down that's why i want to use the manual and have control by it so with this i can go for somewhere minus 200 so you can see it starts from here and then it comes up this way and also on opacity let's take it all the way to zero so now we have something like this now let's make that smooth right click show a preset and sometimes i go for ease and sometimes i go for quad ease so this time around let's go for quad ease ease is also come coming really nice i'll go for quad ease close that now what we're going to do is in this one we have four words right in everything you're doing so i'm going to make duplicate four times and before we make a duplicate we have to convert it into compound clip so let me just drag it up and stretch this a bit now with this selected i can go for option or alt g that's selected i can go to video mask add mask and i can start selecting the individual word and i like to stretch it so it's gonna be up and down so we have first one then I can go somewhere three to five frames, drag it up, make a duplicate on that side. That one selected, go to video and we can move it and select the word everything it's gonna take a bit of your time but it always comes out clean than using the preset cup cut comes with now let me make go three frames ahead drag it select the third word go to video and let me select you are now we can go somewhere three option or alt select this and we can go to video and now we can select the last word so now when i play and show you guys it's gonna come in nicely this way now what i can do is let me trim the ending part of this select all w to trim it then the next thing you can do is i can select all of them optional alt g and i can add some motion blur to it sometimes it adds a bit of smoothness to it so i can go down here select motion blur take it to somewhere 60 and i can blend it in nicely so when it comes in it's gonna have a bit of smoothness to it now when i play and show you guys it's gonna come in nicely so that will be all for today if you want to know more about CapCut, i just dropped a course link will be down there below Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.